Well, I've been thinking about the sermon we had last night here at the Lighthouse Chapel. I hope others have thought about it as well. Sometimes I think a pastor's message is just kind of run off as like a water runs off of a duck's back, but I've been thinking about it today and how God was dealing with Abram, and he told him that if he would obey him, I will bless thee. Then he went on to say, I will make thee a blessing. This is Pastor Hayton and the Lord Light's devotional, and I just kind of like to think about that uh, two statements today, how God is saying that uh, we are blessed in order that we might bless. And God has blessed us immeasurably, hasn't he? Most everybody here in my voice is blessed in so many ways that, uh, you know, the songwriter said, just count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your many blessings, see what God has done. And most of us would be a long time counting our blessings, wouldn't we? And so God has been good to us, and he has blessed us in many ways. And I believe that if God has blessed us, he has blessed us that we might be a blessing to others. Thinking about the wonderful music that we were enjoying yesterday in our worship services, Dear little Penny at the piano and Brother Lyle Parker on his trumpet. And I tell you, our hearts were blessed and inspired. And I thought, I'm glad they're using the blessing of their talent to bless others. Now, I know that uh, they might, you know, enjoy in the solitude or in their homes making music. I used to say when I was asked if I played the guitar, I'd say, well, I just kind of play it for my own entertainment. And that's kind of the extent of my music making is for my own entertainment. But I'm not blessed with a great deal of talent. But I thank God that those that are blessed are willing to share that talent. Think of all the ways that we have been blessed by God-given talent. People that are willing to go out and to share that talent of singing or music in order that we might be inspired. I think of people that have been blessed with with money. Now, that's another thing that I haven't really been blessed with a whole lot of. Uh, I've never made a lot of money. I've never been able to accumulate much money. But I say that what money God does give, that it belongs to him. And he has blessed us with that, that we might be a blessing to someone else. And I think a lot of people, when it comes to uh, uh, using the blessing that God has given them to be a blessing, well, they're falling short. I want to use whatever God has given me in the way of financial resources to be a blessing to others. Sometimes my kids say, Dad, you've got to stop giving away your money. But I believe that God blesses me that I might bless others. And that doesn't mean we have to give every dime away. Uh, We don't have to just deny ourselves and live a life of poverty that we might bless others. But I can guarantee you, the more you bless others, the more God is going to bless you. I can promise you that if you'll take what resources you have and uh, go out to be a blessing, God will bless you in return to where you can even be a greater blessing with uh, your resources. So it might be a talent. It might be uh, the the uh, financial resources that God gives. I mentioned that there are people that have a God-given ability of mechanics. And, you know, if your neighbor's car breaks down or someone in the church uh, needs your expertise and your skill in fixing something, Well, I believe that God gave you that ability, that talent, that you might be a blessing. That doesn't mean that if you use it as your livelihood, that you ought to never charge anyone. But there are people that really can't afford to take their car to the shop. And if you know that person that really cannot afford it, and you have the ability, God has blessed you with that ability, that you might be a blessing. One more thing. Brother Les Collins in our church, God has blessed him with a little little property to where he can have some fine uh, laying hens. And uh, those hens are good layers, and he comes to church every Sunday, 
with fresh eggs to share with uh, many of us because God has blessed him with eggs and he wants to bless others with eggs. Well, we are blessed to be a blessing. Let's take whatever blessing we have and not hoard it, but use it to bless others. Heavenly Father, may we truly do what uh, we've been admonished to do. Take the blessing of God and use it to bless others. Go with us down throughout the path of life. In Christ's name, amen. Well, I plan to see you tomorrow here on Lower Lights Devotional with Pastor Hayton. Goodbye now.